G'day ladies and gents and welcome to Project Wingman mission number three in VR of course. Hello, Alright, so Sicario. our task is to I'm Captain Griffiths, otherwise known as Stardust. From now on I'll be your point of contact with the Cascadian Independence Force. I was a National Guard pilot when it all went down, and now I'm working with you. We're pressed for time, so listen up. Cascadia's prosperity, our natural bounty, has always gone to support the world. For the last few decades, we have done this by our partnership with the Pacific Federation, providing aid and infrastructure to the less fortunate internationally. The Federation, however, in recent years, has used the resources we provided to forcefully expand my conquest and military strength. We could not let our cordium or geothermal deposits fuel this war machine. Cascadia as a nation sought independence from the Federation outright, in order to prevent the Federation from imperially expanding further. Unfortunately, they turned against us. They have seen fit to unify and federalize Cascadian infrastructure as a whole. When we resisted, they turned the country inside out. We refuse to let that stand. So, here's the plan for you mercenaries right now. In Northern Cascadia, Rosedower AFB was a joint base used by both the Cascadian National Guard and the Federation. When hostilities took off, however, the Federation seized the base from the National Guard. Your objective today is to take back the base into our hands. Hitman team will lead aerial operations, wiping out any anti-air defenses. Circus, our transport aircraft carrying Sicario's airborne troop element, that is a great name for a transport plane. Take care not to damage the facilities too much during the attack. Sicario and other mercenary elements will be using this base afterwards. I'm sure you want to operate from an actual base anyway, as opposed to some dirt strip. So let's get rolling. Yeah, that is that is a fantastic name for a transporter, a combat transporter, Circus. I'm going to remember that. I'm going to use that in future missions, I swear. Actually, when I get around to flying the C-130 in DCS, um, I think that'll have to be my call sign on any missions that we do. We call in Circus. All right, let's uh, let's do this. Looks like, hang on, before we do that. All right, so we've got a supply port. We're coming in from over the mountains. We've got uh, cruisers and LCS on the ground. They look like cruisers on the ground rather than the flying one from before. And lots of anti-aircraft defenses. So we want something that's got ground pound capability, but we do definitely have some targets in the air that we're going to have to deal with as well. So I'm thinking we should have enough points now to get ourselves a new aircraft. So let's start mission. Oh no. It's with, they got a vegan. Mmm. Mmm. Part of me really wants this. Uh, no, 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 no. We got, we're going to get the F4E4. That's what, oh, the FE4. That's the one I want. It's 6,800 credits, actually. How much is the... It's only 4,300 for the vegan. So response rating 2.1, max speed 2700, acceleration 60, 165, 70, 500, so it's faster, it responds better, 250, 75, 10. Uh, so the Phantoms... Your, the vegan yours better, the Phantom is the better fighter. Yeah, I think overall, I think we'll take the Phantom. Because it looks like the um, the vegan only gets two weapon slots as well, where the Phantom gets three. So, let's buy ourselves a shiny Phantom, plus I really like the paint job on this one. Um, we might pick up the vegan a little bit later. 
and we're definitely going to fly it out, so... Select additional weapon. So slot 1 is carrying the HISM multi-purpose missile, that'll be our standard missiles, I think. Slot 2, anti-ground. Standard missiles of the STDM, okay. Okay, so weapon slot 2, we want anti-ground capable weapons. So what are these? Unguided bomb small? No, it's small. We don't want anything that's small. Unguided bomb small, triple volley. Unguided bomb small, explosive radius but higher ammo count, faster reload rate, drops in triplicate? No. Unguided bomb large, large explosive. Yes, that one. Big bombs. Um, and for our third slot... Multi-lock anti-air missiles. Longer range with multi-target locking capability, lower than average tracking performance. Um, considering what we've seen so far, SAA, semi-active air missiles, high damage, high tracking capability anti-air weapon, target must remain painted by pilot for usage. I'm going to go for SAA. Yeah, modules will remain flares. Which is already selected. Yeah, for what I've seen so far, high tracking will be better because everything is, you know, maneuverable. Oh, we have to take off. Cool. Alright, fair enough. Bottling up. Still want to know about those towers. And wheels up. It's kind of a little bit of a jump when we leave the runway there. And mad air is away. Alright. And let's begin mission. Oh, we're in the snow. I suppose we're up north of what would have been Alaska, so... And we still have these big-ass towers. Alright, so what have we got? Those are our standard missiles. Wheeled or icebreaker hulls? <clears throat> Ship destroyed. I think that's the area clear. Yes, it is. Alright, let's have a look at these. Looks like we got 46 of these. Whoa, okay, that was a waste. actually check what these are. Alright, two airborne targets coming in. Get over here and we'll get rid of these first. Enemy on. Break. Oh, don't worry, we'll break them. Alright, let's go for these. No. Okay, this might be more interesting than I thought to keep a lock on. 
You did not just shoot that cannon at me. some of the things that are firing at us here. Missile is tracking. That's not the weapon that I wanted to select, I wanted that one. That got him. That helps. Is that too close? Alright, those are okay. Maybe I should go with the multi-lock missiles after all. Might be a better idea. Second one, though. No. Well, apparently, somehow I missed with those missiles. I can definitely see how I would have missed with those bombs. So that's the cruisers out. Oh, because I'm sure somebody's going to ask, I'm using exactly the same control configuration as I would in DCS for this. So I'm using exactly the same, uh, exactly the same button that I would use for countermeasures in a proper sim. The same weapon select switches on my Hotas. I'm out of bombs. You do have weapons limitations here. Well, that's a shame. I should have saved these for this runway. There's a parachute going in. That's cool.
All right, they got a plane up. Okay, those missiles don't give us much indication that they're being launched. And those are F-16s. Were F-16. <laughs> okay, so maybe these aren't so bad. I'm going to have to spend a little bit of time working them out though. Okay, apparently that was a miss on the runway. Another C-17 down. This is just bullying at this point. God, if I wish I had bombs, I could have just bombed them on the runway. Oh, we have still have some AAA around the back of the map. Although it looks like everybody's firing at that. Those are F-18s. That was one less. I'm taking it from the music change that this is an ace squadron now. So I guess a boss engagement. That thing stopped fast. There's another one down. Got him with the guns. All right. Yeah, those missiles are better at range. It's too hard to keep them in scope when you're in uh, or in the ball sight when you're this close. Something's on my ass. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Roll it in, roll it in, roll it in. Two away. That worked. 
Although I'm not sure if I got that then. Mission complete. Snow effect's pretty cool. Alright, they're going to let us... Oh, it's going to go into a landing sequence. Yeah, Alright, again, that would have been much cooler if we could just drop in and land. Yeah, it would have been, a much, would have been much cooler if we could just swing it around and actually land on the runway in mission, but... I suppose this keeps with the, uh, the whole Ace Combat style. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a Project Wingman 2 as well, so yeah, may maybe it'll diverge off a bit to be a bit more of its own thing in the next one. I hope so, because this is really good. I'm really enjoying this, and I hope they please keep the VR support, because this is friggin' great. This is just the most relaxing, laid-back murder fest that I've played in ages. And I get to do it in a plane. Gotta remember, I'm not playing a sim. So landing it. Oh, it even drifts me under the center line. Nice. Ah, perfect landing every time. Mission complete. Alright, let's check our uh, check our briefing. We didn't take any damage again, so we're um we are the master, the Zen master at dodging missiles and bullets at this point. It's two missions in a row, but what did we it's rough get? around the edges, but as far as forward operating bases go, this isn't the worst we've been at. The base didn't sustain too much damage, and there's room enough for everyone, even the other freelance freaks. The independence force of Cascadia is now the collection of true Cascadian sovereignty, and when the time comes, we'll see Cascadia rise to its own liberty without the Federation. I've been instructed by the remnants of our national government to be your liaison for the duration of your contract with us, of which we've sent to Kaiser for you to sign later. To be truthful, I don't agree with your way of life, but you've come to Cascadia to aid us, and for that, I can't complain. We'll pay you what you do, as long as you give us your best. Get settled in. We need you up in the air soon. Uh, one last thing, everyone. We're going by our TAC names for the duration of this contract. I'm pretty sure my name is public domain in regards to Sicario. However, we've gone to great lengths to keep yours hidden. If you break it, it's on your ass. You know how bounty hunters are if they have a name. Dismissed. That's a cool little piece of lore there. Or is that foreshadowing? Guess we'll find out. Um, yeah, no, that was a lot of fun. Uh, what do we got? Cannon. So, yeah, three cannons, eight anti-aircraft, only one PT boat, three anti-air, two LCS, two SAM, one cruiser, and damn it, I wish I got the other cruiser. 600 a pop. The LCS, two, 600 a piece, nice. Five SAMs, four F-15s, three F-16s, three of the C-17 transports, and four of the F-18s. So we missed out on two of the A squadron in total. Only one of the transports was taken out by our teammates. They got two of the F-16s. They took out most of the AAA, which makes sense, because I was fighting the fighters while they were killing the AAA. That's alright, I'm entirely cool with them doing that. I wish I'd got the LCS, though. 240 points would have been nice. Um, 
Okay, well there we go. So there's the payout for this mission, 13610 And it'll be interesting to see what aircraft are available to us in the next mission, and they're probably going to be expensive, because this one wasn't that bad, and we have a little bit of cash built up now. But anyways, ladies and gents, hope you enjoyed the video, and thank you very much for watching. Project Wingman will be returning in the very near future, and until next time, remember to click that like button if you did, share and subscribe if you want to see more, and as always, take care.